Hello everyone, I'm Anthony and I'd like to introduce you to this series of videos documenting processes, phases you might say, to make a painting. And this particular video is about the first step of the creative process. I would say a step that you could call uh, inspiration or maybe you could refer to the idea of creativity. So what is creativity? What is creation? I think the first thought would be to go to the original creation, to think about the idea of what is written in the book of Genesis in the Bible, probably the most authoritative and certainly the one of the most ancient tales of the creation. And uh, I think we can draw some conclusions from that that might be helpful. So we have God created light. That's the idea, separation of light and darkness. So this is what's written, and the idea is that you have this state of being that changes. And I think the most important word is to consider light. And uh, I'd like to talk about that light. Uh, it has to do with the writings from uh, Zohar regarding the Kabbalah. And uh, this light, uh, that light that is everything, that is infinite light, is both light and vessel. So we could refer to it as the perfect light. The perfect light in the sense that there, there is no other substance. There is only that light. And I know this is abstract, but just to think of it as the love of God or the light of God that is everywhere. It's infinite. In order for us to understand the light, we have to have the vessel. There must be the vessel present. There has to be a container. There has to be some way of ascertaining that that really is light, that it's not just the state of everything. Okay. Getting back to painting, what am I doing? Am I making a reference between the artist and God? No. I don't think that this first creation of light can be in any way comparable with what an artist does, any artist in the creation of an artwork. There are similarities, but... I'd like to include in the analysis of inspiration and creativity, I'd like to include the idea of the vessel because I think that's really important. We are vessels. Very, very fragile vessels, but we are vessels. And so we contain this light and the light is probably where the inspiration comes from. But we have to consider the vessel in order to understand the work of art. So the artist doesn't necessarily produce a light, doesn't necessarily bring light from darkness. If I have the canvas, that canvas is inside the light. It cannot be a new light. The artist has a desire to create. Probably in the same way that God had a desire to create. But in this first state, there is both giving and receiving. But what is most prevalent is God's giving. So the light is a gift. It's something that is given. So this is, this is where the inspiration can be like 
a, a godlike similarity. Uh, it's a way of manifesting this light through a vessel, though. It's through the action of producing something. And so this is the creation from a human point of view. So it's one of many acts. Creation can be many, many different actions. I'd like to think of it as a search for the union between the creator and the created being. So you have this, this search, this desire, created being, the artist, to try to find the creator, to find the original inspiration. What, what was the, the reason for all this? And so while this light is pure pleasure for the created beings, pure pleasure, an egoistic pleasure, what happens with inspiration is this egoistic pleasure takes on a tinge of altruism. So there is something of giving and receiving in what the artist wants to do. So there is a spark of inspiration that the created being is in contact some way, or at least just aware of the creator. So you have this question. You, know, you look at nature, you look at things, and you say, well, who did this? Who created this? This is part of inspiration, this questioning. Something that could actually bring me closer to that you know, pure state of love, pure state of light. Uh, it's a kind of a, of a rebirth, you might say. The artist is constantly born again, new, innovative. And so this infinite search has to be considered in the inspiration, the desire to give something to someone. Okay, that's, I think, that's the, the bottom line. That's something that contains pleasure, pleasure for the others. And the artist, as a vessel, is trying to rediscover that. And that's what I would like to begin with. We will be looking at different phases of the painting. The next time I'll talk about uh, the surface and uh, the materials. Thank you.